So I want to address a couple of things to my audience right here on Facebook or would I say YouTube as well. How are you doing? I hope you are doing good. Now the story about the death of Ifai is very saddening to everyone. And just before I continue, a story is alleging that the nanny was with Ifai and the chef came to join them. So they have a nanny and a chef. So the nanny was said to have moved slightly away to receive a call. And when she returned, she couldn't find Ifai and assumed she was with the chef. But the chef was said to have left Ifai with her. So both of them thought they left the child to each other. So they began to look for the child all over the house for over 20 minutes. But by then, Ifai had gone into the pool until it was spotted by the security that the child is in the pool. And that was how it happened. But let's continue. Even when I posted about it, saying it was reported based on what was trending, I understand why most of you like, you know, were insulting me, calling me names and all that. I don't really care. It's something that no one wants such a thing to be true. So, of course, when I posted about it, I was like, that's what the news is saying. But of course, right now, we have found out that it's something true that actually happened. So I want to address a couple of issues around this particular story because i've seen a couple of videos already and people are calling out the video putting to some a great extent blame on them like you can see right now it's not as if the video has come out to make a public video at this point they are mourning for this loss because come on if i if everyone knows the video too well is more of like i won't say the most love but the video always showcases their relationship on social media and to a great extent the video i think would have had great plans for him as his son so understanding this right now and looking at the person of the video whether you were christian muslim whatever person you are everyone knows who the video is no matter how you want to categorize him but the point right now is you see if stones are thrown at him it might become uneasy for them to forgive themselves or make it look like they neglected their son. According to the news, they went for a family gathering, leaving the child on the care of someone else who is supposed to be a minder. But have you thought about this, that maybe this is not the first time that this has happened before, that maybe the parents are not around and they're leaving the child to the care of their servants? Now, some people have given some conspiracy theories that, oh, this thing, something like this also happened to Debange when Debange went for BET Awards and then the next thing, he heard the story of the son drowning as well. I think when it comes to connecting dots like this, this is something very sensitive and it's easy for people to just try to make assumptions here and there. The widow himself, when it comes to his public persona, is undisputably someone that, come on, his level of love and you know, freeness with people is something quite commendable. Come on, the same person that got millions from people on his birthday and then decided to give it out. There are a couple of good things you can say about him. So if you look at this right now, there are some things we have to learn from this. No matter how worthy you are, no matter how highly placed you are, life happens to everyone. No one will wish this to even, if you are someone watching me now and you wish us a thing to happen to your enemy, I, I don't even imagine how such thoughts will run through your mind. According to news as well, the people that were in the home have been arrested for further investigation. According to news as well, PDP activities in Osun State have been suspended for a week because of this particular incident. So you could see the great amount of attention and reaction this is pulling on social media and also in different spheres of life. Of course, Peter B has also shared his condolences as well to the family and many other celebrities as well have reacted to this particular situation. Indeed, David Doe himself is a people person. This kind of thing happening to him, everyone would wish it is something that never happened. So I came across a video, of course, those who have been watching me for over time, know that I get to talk about things that happen in church, politics, and also things that happen in the society. So someone came out and made a video saying he has prophesied about the situation as at January and also shared um, his page where that particular prophecy was written by him. And of course, I also did my confirmation and checked and then indeed it was something that was not like if, as if he edited it and then wrote it again or something or just tried to paint it or whatever. If you are watching me and you were prophet right here or into this church stuff, just ask yourself a couple of questions. 
according to what the person wrote right here, as of January, the person said that God revealed to him that it would happen if prayers are not made. So I want to ask you a question. When it comes to that particular subject, if prayers are made, must you have to be in contact with the person to pray for them or would I say intercede for them? Was it the prophecy that God showed you that you have to be in contact with the widow so that maybe you hold hands with him and pray or you pray with him over the phone or maybe he comes to visit your church? Think about that. But of course, you know as well that for someone that is quote and unquote a celebrity like this, many people know. It's not easy getting such people's attention even though you posted this as a January and then it didn't get to him or maybe you just shared whatever you believe God showed you you know only you know me I don't know remember even in the Bible itself that spirit of divination so I'm not saying that you have the spirit of divination I'm just being a factual about this so but also think about this myself like my audience who are watching me that means prayers were not made that is why it happened. So he himself, as a prophet, did not pray about it because he needed to have access to the widow for that to happen. You understand? I saw one of my uh, friends in the space as well talk about the whole idea. I think it was Church Reality Check that talked about the whole idea that, let me play what he had to say. I don't know, I don't know if you guys are hearing me. If he says the prayer should be offered, do you have to be in the presence of the person in order for the offers, for the prayers to be offered? We see a situation where Jesus meets a centurion man, a man in authority, and the man requests uh, for prayers for Jesus from Jesus. And Jesus wants to go and, and give the prayers in person. And the centurion, recognizing the authority of the Messiah, says, no, you do not have to be there in person. Uh, only say the word and it shall happen. Now it is God that heals, right? And so why is it that you need to be there in person for the prayer? So if you have offered the prayers, just offering a, third, a second opinion here, you offered the prayers and it still happened. Should that not tell you that your perception around that particular subject is different, should be different? If you're offering the prophecy, offer the prophecy. It just ends there. But by saying that if prayers are not offered, um, the child will pass and then the child passes you want though that family to heal you still want contact with them he made a video answering to this particular whole thing so if you get to understand this right now I'm not asking you my dear wonderful viewers with that particular context of Cornelius and Jesus Christ what do you get to make about it but also moving further to what this person said here, the person said uh, David's son has died, fulfilling the prophecy given in 7th of January 2022. That means according to what he said in, on the 7th, he said specifically, God revealed this to me that it will happen if prayers are not made. That means emphatically, he didn't pray about it as a prophet that has been shown this. He needed to have access to him and the family to pray about it, which he did not get access to as of January. So he's coming to share that his prophecy has been fulfilled. Does this glorify God? Does this glorify you? Think about that. Also moving on, he said here, he now said here, more highlights are still to be given towards the prophecy as there are hidden clues that needs to be shared in prayers only with family of David Adeleke, only with David Adeleke and his family. So he still has some other hidden clues to be shared in prayer. Now think about that. He has hidden clues. That means you already know what it is you want to share. Assuming this is coming from God, like you know what it is you want to share. But it will be shared in prayers. What is, what is service prayer? Think about what is service prayer? You are, is it that when you now get to pray with the widow, then that particular hidden clue will be revealed to the widow? Or you know the hidden clues already, but you have to contact the widow first so that this particular hidden clues will be shared to him when you are praying. 
think about that. So when I was watching the young man's video, he talked about, he started by talking about the fact that, of course, you know, him being a prophet and, you know, there is not like a big prophet or a big name and all that. And in case you don't know, if you are watching me and you are like a Christian, you know that many of these pastors, they have a rating for themselves. Like you hear Prophet Rita B talk about here. Enemy of an evangelist must be an evangelist. This word is for you if you are a pastor. If you are not a pastor, it's not for you. But I'm speaking to every pastor all over the globe. Not little, little pastors, but the global ones. They have a rating for themselves. So most times, based on the amount, and I always tell you people this on my platform, based on the amount of attention you control or how quote and unquote recognize you are, defines how much the weight of what you say carries. I made that in my previous video when I was talking about the reason why uh, um, um, Apostle Suleiman had to risk his his person to defend his brother Jeremiah Motufufin, looking at the, the 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 missing child baby testimony. So if you look at this particular issue right now, you see that with all the stories that are going on around social media, this person that calls himself a prophet according to him, I don't know him. Like he said, not many people know him. You have to also understand that at this particular time is a wrong timing for this particular announcement or this particular virality you have gone. But of course, because of the virality of the videos situation right now, yours is easy to be picked up because as at that time, when you posted it on January, nobody will even fathom this happening. Just like when I posted about this happening and people were crossing me out and saying I'm a bastard, I'm this and that, that is a fake news and all that. Those people right now would apologize and say, oh George, sorry we insulted you. Of course, no, I'm, I don't even care. You understand? Because for a main fact right here, this is trending right now. Everyone is talking about it. So anyone that gets into this particular conversation right now, is, is very sensitive. But of course, I could see that you are just reacting to what is public out there to also share with people that what he said was exactly what it is that um, happened. It is my sincere wish that both parties, the Vido and Choma, are able to forgive themselves for what I'm seeing already on social media, people blaming them for negligence and how they're supposed to be there for the child and all that. Because of course, this could happen to like virtually anyone. Accidents will happen in homes and sometimes if it is true based on the news, kids could also be very, very inquisitive, very, very experimental. And don't forget, it was just recent that a video was posted of, you know, the video trying to teach him how to swim and all that. So if you look at that as well, was it, could, you, could you say that maybe, oh, the child was more of like let him go and practice what he learned with the father or something. That's why he, you know, entered the water. Because had it been assuming that particular story is true that he drowned, then it would just be someone that is more of like, oh, I have entered this water before. Oh, let me go and enter. You understand? You get, but only to enter and then it's a different thing when his father was not there. You understand? So, so, and if you look at the, the person of the widow as well, you now see that, is it that when the widow is in the house or when Choma is in the house, then everyone that is a security or maid is alert. When they are not in the house, it's as if they're not alert anymore. Everybody's just doing their thing. For the child to be ignored, or would I say for the child not to be noticed at this point for him, this to happen to the child. Think about that. So if you're watching me and you are a VIP, you understand? Most times, maybe those who are working with you or working in your home, maybe they are doing eye service. Because you are there, they are very active, very attentive, very responsive and everything. And maybe when you are not there, everybody's just doing their thing and then hanging around or maybe having fun with each, or with each other or something. It is possible. You understand? Because had it been the widow was around and the wife was around, do you think if, where would he find him be? He find he's going to also be hanging around his parents. But if the parents are not around, according to the news, who would he find him be hanging out with? 
We find you should be closest to the person that is supposed to handle him or what I say, his caregiver. So where would the caregiver be or the minder be for this to happen? So of course, investigations are still going on as to how this happened. The widow himself would have CCTV footages in his home that would show how the whole thing happened. So it's not gonna be like rocket science. But people saying that release CCTV footage online, this and this, this. if he decides to release the CCTV footage of what happened to his child, that is his choice. If he doesn't decide to release that, that is his choice. If, if, if investigations are done about this, it's his own decision to decide to release it or not. But you that is a parent, would you decide to release a video or a CCTV footage of how this happened of your son to the public? What is the gain? What has happened has happened. So investigations going on right now, privately or in the home, would make it more clearer to him before he gets to make, you know, a public statement about what happened you understand so i think he should just be given the time for that he's a public figure and of course people will care the public cares about what happened i deeply feel for for him for him to lose his child at this time and as young as he is as well but condolences to the family and um that just my two cents on this particular issue you could tell me what you think in the comments and see you next time Ta